here we have uh, an OMP for an RX-8. Um, if you've not seen one before at this level of detail, then on the top there's a simple sensor switch which detects the end of the travel for minimum and maximum oil uh, injection into the engine. Um, there's a little stepper motor under here which actually moves uh, a little um, lever um, arrangement in here to go for minimum and maximum oil depending on the engine um, status and what it's doing, number of revs, etc. And the ECU controls that stepper motor. The sensor switch simply detects um, where the end of the movement is and calibration. Um, and over this side, you've got basically oil comes in for the engine. There's a drive uh, mechanism here, and the oil is pumped out through these four nozzles going to the uh, four inputs into the um, two chambers. So that's a basic setup. You've got a stepper motor, um, a sensor at the top, which actually allows the sensor um, the ECU to detect the end of the travel from minimum and maximum delivery of oil and a mechanical setup um, to uh, deliver the oil into the engine. Two electrical connectors, one is to the uh, switch on the top, which is a sensor, and the other one is the stepper motor driver, which goes back to the ECU. So that's the basic operation. Here we have a little Arduino controller with a little program I've written, um, a stepper motor controller over here, um, connected to the stepper motor in the OMP. Uh, some power supplies and things uh, connected to it. And what it's doing is going through and mimicking what the ECU does when you start up the engine to check the OMP is operating correctly. And if it's not, then it'll put the car into limp mode, which happened to me, and that's why I'm curious to find out uh, what the problem is. So this little tester goes through a sequence uh, of events. Um, basically, the first thing it's doing, and I'll just reset it to go from the beginning, it's now going to sense and go seek the lowest oil setting and calibrate using the switch on top uh, where that position is. It then goes through 60 steps on the stepper motor or up to 60 steps looking for the maximum oil setting when a sensor switch actually begins to operate the other end of the scale. And what we got over here, you just saw a few seconds ago, we'll go through the sequence again, is the blue light coming on showing the sensor is actually operated at the maximum oil end of the scale. Green light shows it's in spec which is uh, basically Mazda saying there should be 52 steps between minimum oil and maximum oil. And you've got the green light coming on again. So it's going to go through the repeat through the sequence time and time again. And basically it's quite happy. And if I just show you the screen over here, if you'll focus on it, you can see a recording here. It's going through the sequence and it's showing there's 56 steps. So it's passing the more than 52 and less than 60 count uh, operation. So this OMP appears to be uh, working okay, at least electrically. Uh, mechanically, there isn't much to go wrong, so um, uh, everything's okay. And as far as the ECU concerned, it would detect it as a working um, uh, OMP. Um, obviously, I need to set this thing up a lot neater and put a little box and something so it would be used as a portable tester and um, can be used to test OMPs in situ just by plugging in the two, uh, two connectors. So what I've done now is I've moved the sensor to the other end. As you notice, a little range here. It can be moved um, slightly from one end um, positioning for sensing the position inside the, uh, the unit. And I've done it deliberately to the other end to get it to fail. And if you see the sequence it goes through now, it's now starting to seek the minimum oil um, condition. And it's going through that step. It's now going through to find uh, between 52 and 60 steps to go from that minimum calibration point to the maximum. And what's going to happen here is instead of the green light coming on and the blue light showing the sensor operator, we've got a red light. And the reason being, I've moved it so much that there are now 61 steps between maximum and minimum, which fails the 60 uh, specification from Mazda. So it's actually failing and ECU would register that as a failure and would put the car into limp mode. Um, so it's entirely possible if you've got a failed OMP, it is down merely to that switch being incorrectly positioned and just, just slightly means moving on its uh, two adjustment screws. There's two at one each side. I've only got one in place because it's easier to move it. Um, but there we go.